I think Dublin will probably win the final. Um, I think they have more balance throughout the team. You know, you've the likes of the last day you didn't have Bernard Brogan, Michael Darren McCauley, two former footballers of the year, not getting a run. Um, Dear McConnelly. Uh, got three minutes, didn't even touch the ball. Can you imagine the, the trainings that Dublin are going to have in the next week, the last week, the next week or so? The AVB matches, you know, I'd love to be in watching those sessions now because fellas just fighting for jerseys. Um, so that's going to be a huge uh, advantage for Jim Gavin, I think, going into the final. Um, you know, I, I suppose with the Dublin, there's no player who is. Uh, there's a few players I suppose his go-to players that he does use every game but you know last year we saw with Bernard Brogan in the draw match when he wasn't up to his usual high standards uh, Carmer Costello came in and kicked three points so everyone is looking over their shoulder you'd imagine um, and they seem to be very balanced their backs James McCarthy uh, moving to midfield what a footballer he is you know and he's he's able to bring carry the ball uh, you know he's a physical player um, and of course you Fenton Kilkenny fantastic footballers uh, Cooper and and, and and I think Mick Fitzsimons very underrated footballer as a defender who does the man marking job now for, for this Dublin team and you know a fantastic footballer so from that point of view Dublin seem to have all the talent um, May on the other hand they'll be very happy they took the scenic route um, tough year for them I suppose in a way but that said they've they've really seemed to have ironed out their problems and um, you know they they're in the position where they wanted to be back in the All Ireland final. They take serious confidence after having beaten Kerry in the semi final. Uh, they celebrated that game as if it was an All Ireland final. I remember us doing something similar in, in 14 when we beat them in the replay in Limerick. So Mayo, I think, won't fear Dublin. I think they possibly should have beaten them twice last year. So from that point of view, Mayo are in a very good position as well. The one area I'd be worried about Mayo is their full back position. I don't think Aidan O'Shea is going to play there, play there the next day. Uh, he was obviously there the last day to do a man-marking job in Kieran Donaghy. It's an area where they've had problems all summer in that, I suppose, Jared Caffrey wasn't playing as well as he should have been playing and was dropped, uh, subsequently dropped. So it's an area where Mayo definitely need to get right, particularly with these Dublin forwards. You know, there's nine, ten Dublin forwards who could beat you on a given day. So from that point of view, I'd be giving the nod to Dublin. I just think they're a more balanced team. They're going for three in a row. Huge motivation factor for them um, obviously the flip side is that Mayo haven't won in all Ireland since the 50s so uh, th you know, there'll be no lack of motivation there either I definitely saw a different Mayo team in the replay um, uh, that I've seen in the last few years so if they can bring that to the table the next day they'll definitely ask questions of Dublin um, but again I'd, I'd have to go with Dublin just on the basis of the consistency that I've seen during the last few years and there doesn't seem to be any uh, weakening of that consistency